guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So very quickly, I'm going to talk about a topic that a number of you have wondered about, and that is, how do you know when it's time to separate a mother hen from her chicks? So those of you who have been a subscriber for a little while might remember that back in January, I had a hen go broody, and a broody hen means uh, she's in the mood to hatch eggs, and she's gonna stay on that nest, and she's gonna be cranky and moody and broody, uh, for a while, she's going to protect them uh, from you, from the other chickens, and everything until it's time for them to hatch. And then she's going to still protect her chicks for a while, if she's a good mama, and keep everybody away. Um, at that point, you know, it might be a good idea to separate her and the chicks from the rest of the flock because chickens are brutal, they're cannibalistic, they will kill the chicks, they will eat the chicks, and mama might be in the crossfire as well. So uh, at that point I built uh, several rabbit tractors and I built the first one as kind of a prototype to make sure that my concept was going to work that I had in my head. And when I finished that one I actually made that into a, a brooder of sorts for the mama hen and her chicks because they had just hatched. Um, and so what I did was I moved her out there and you know I had kept her in a dog crate. I hate doing that. But that's a, a method that a lot of uh, chicken people use. Uh, that way she was in the, in the chicken coop itself, but protected her and the babies from the rest of the flock. Well, it just really seemed cramped, and I didn't like that. So I moved her on out there to the, the chicken tractor that I had created, and she was so happy. She just immediately started dusting herself on the ground and just having a great time. And it was so neat to see the babies out there dusting themselves right next to her. Now that setup worked great for quite a while, but after a few weeks, Mama started getting really grumpy and she did not want to be there anymore. Every time I went out there to feed and water, she would try and get out. One morning she actually did, and it would have been very comedic if I'd have filmed that, but I was chasing a chicken around and around and around and around and around for probably half an hour before I caught her to put her back in. And the next day she tried to get out again, so that's kind of the first sign that it's time to separate mama from the babies when, is when she no longer wants to have anything to do with them. When she wants out of there, she's done. Hey guys, let me interrupt real quick. Something that I forgot to add right here was make sure you're keeping a good eye on the mama hen because even if the chicks are nowhere near big enough to be without her, um, even if they still need a brooder, a heater of some sort, you got to go ahead and let her out if she doesn't want anything to do with them because if she starts getting stressed out and she does not want to be there with the chicks anymore, she may turn on them and start killing them. I know she's the mama, but not all mama hens are good mama hens, if you know what I mean. So that, that's the first sign. And then the second sign, I actually got about two or three days later, she laid her first egg. So when a mama is broody and she's, she's raising those chicks, she's not laying any eggs. But when her body says, okay, this time is done with, she'll lay that first egg. So when you get that first egg, that is the time, that's, that's the signal for you as the chicken owner to go ahead and let her go, let her out, let her go do her thing. Now, depending on the weather, you know, you may need to still put a heater out there. Um, just go by whatever your temperatures are in your area, especially at night. Uh, we had a good bed of straw inside our chicken house and the temperatures at that point weren't getting very cold anymore. And those chicks did great. Every one of them uh, survived and thrived and is now uh, with the rest of the flock. And because I raised those chicks in that tractor, which was inside the fence where all the other chickens are, they grew up together. They were used to each other. So when it came time to integrate the two groups of chickens, I didn't have any issues at all because it was as though I wasn't introducing new chickens. Of course, I did move them into the coop at night when you're supposed to merge flocks uh, because everybody's groggy and they wake up in the morning, oh, okay, you're part of us. And they don't realize if, if you try and do it during the day, there tends to be a lot of fighting that happens. And there might still be in the morning when you let them all out, but it seems to uh, go a little bit smoother that way. So there you go. I hope that answered your question about uh, getting to the stage of separating mama from the babies. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will be sure to address them. 